All right, hello, 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 everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by once again. Uh, today I was a little bit late, um, but that's totally fine. We're still getting everything done, and speaking of which, we had the first episode, or first, I don't really know what to call it, first disc, first game of .hack GU cleared. So we have Rebirth cleared. We're going to go to Reminiscence, but before we do, I know I said this, and I mean it, I want to go um, back and just read a couple of these like emails and forums in this game that I have yet to go over, I yet to cover. Um, it's part of the lore, and I just feel like it would be a bit more interesting um, knowing more of the lore, you know? Alright, so I'm already done with all the missions and everything like that. Um, first thing I think we'll do is we'll check up on those guys. Um, dang it, what are they called again? Uh, the guys that I constantly have to make a, a voice for. Um, let's start over here. And we're gonna check up on them. Maybe we hit some goals. I, I'm sure if I hit all the goals in this game before going to the next one, I could get extra stuff that transfers to the next one, but... Oh my! Uh, let's see, 61 out of 135. There's still plenty of people that I have yet on this game to speak with. Okay, we also have... Not in here. But back here. Okay, so I still need a view, uh, 29 more? Yeah, 29, I think. Yeah. Anyways, um, yeah. Uh, I think that's just by playing more and more, you know? And the other one, I think it's Chim's, and I'm pretty sure we finished the Chim one, but I don't think it's this one here. This is a, a shop that was already open. So let's teleport. Um, we'll come to the harbor, but that's just to double check that that Chim Spear guy. <clears throat> oh, this is the. Mecha Grunty one. So I still need to, to save him 28 more times. Probably 14 field, 14 dungeon is probably what they're gonna force it to be, but that's pretty crazy. I know if I if I had time I would do it, it's just I try not to play the game when I'm not streaming it, because I don't wanna like I'm, I don't, it's not that it's gonna ruin it for myself, but I also don't want to trigger anything that could be like like uh, a quest or something on accident. So I try to just stay off of games that I'm planning on streaming. Um, and I also don't pl play a game that I've already streamed unless I explicitly say I've, I've already streamed it before. Simply because I wanna I wanna keep it like fresh for myself and for anyone watching. You know? <laughs> Oh yeah, I see. Alright, let's see. But yeah, I'm, I know like the general things about the games, like people have talked about them, but like, I don't usually play them unless I've already played them, in which case I'll say, oh, I've already played this, but it's been a while and that's why I want to play it. <laughs> Cool. So, what I'm worried about is not really something to be worried about, but I'm going to go to the next disc today, which I don't, I just need to like back out and then go to continue. But um, all this stuff, I, I'm one of those people 
that like when I play on my own, I'll like do everything and then I'll go to the next disc. But we're not doing that today because it just takes way too long. It's a lot of grind. But I, I'm I'm one of those people that enjoy the grind of video games because as long as there's uh you know something going on, it's entertainment, I guess. Okay, so we already checked in there. Trying to think. Yeah, might as well just leave. And then I can read the emails. And we won't go too far into it, we'll just read some emails. But, um, eventually I'll go to the next disc. So it's the official site, official forum. Mm -hmm. The world. The official site. Okay, let's uh, start by the first one, I assume. Welcome to the world. The world is an MMORPG, massive multiplayer online RPG, enjoyed by many players on worldwide. Alright, so gain fame as a top class adventure, become emperor of the Colosseo, take part in quests and explore the world, or just relax and take in the gorgeous scenery. There is more than one way to enjoy the world, and more than one path to take. You too can become a resident of the world and live the life you desire. Alright, the technology is Crest and Steam technology. So we're working with Chaos Gates here. This is a Crest device that is key to creating a barrier that stops monsters from invading the town. Each town has at least one Chaos Gate, which you must use to warp into the field or dungeon. Steam Alchemy. This is an alchemy device created by combining steam and crest technology. Just toss in any item from old equipment to spare items and the device will transform it into a different item. Although the device was first intended to transform scrap iron into gold, the types of items that can be transformed are now restricted by law, as economists worried it would wreak havoc on the economy. Alright, we have a steam bike. These things are... they're... They dropped the ball on this one. They could have been better implemented. A steam-powered bike invented by humans. It's an extremely expensive item. Riding around on one of these is guaranteed to earn you jealous stares from people in town. The gondola. The gondola has historically been used to navigate the canals of Makanu. Transportation provided by gondolas used to be essential to everyday life, but with a steady advance in technology, they have mostly lost their original purpose, becoming more of a tourist attraction of Makadu. Oh snap, they got everything here, huh? History. Wow, that's a... Uh... Yo, that's a lot of history. Yeah, we'll read this one. <clears throat> Alright, factions. Factions. Three main factions currently oppose each other on the world. Ar... Vak... The humans. Og... Av... Ark... Vak? Those are the humans. Ark Vaks? Alright. Ogmios, the beast, and Tutatsis comprise both humans and beasts. These three forces sometimes fight and sometimes cooperate with one another in a three-way war. The Innovators. With their steam technology and innovative way of thinking, the Arkvac are represented by the symbol of a shining sun, centered around the eternal city of Makanu and the dual city of Bragg Eponia. They are led by a man named Ishmael. Although directly opposed to the Ogmios, they exchange te stream technology with the Tautates in exchange for help in weapons manufacturing. Okay. Those feet, though. Are you human? You sure? Alright. Oh, no, that's not the human. That's the... Uh... Okay. Ogmios, the conservatives. Composed of beasts with their crest technology and conservative ways, Ogmios is represented by a great gate and a magic circle. Centered around the celestial city of Daldona, they are led by a woman from the Two Tribe. 
named Bipu Bapu. Okay. They're directly opposed to Arkfak, but they exchange crystal technology with the two Tatsits in exchange for manpower. And the two Tatsits are the pursuers. They are a mixed force of humans and beasts with a pure hunger for power. Their symbol is a roaring lion and staff. Centered around the worn city Lumina Cloth, their leader is a young human male named Alazif. They receive steam technology by manufacturing weapons by the Arkvac. They receive crest technology from Oak Mios by providing military support. Okay. Adventurers are a mercenary force formed by the two types. Most adventurers join small scale war bands called guilds and work from within them. In exchange for being allowed to use space at home or borrow bikes, adventurers and guilds promise to support the two Tatsis. Okay. Also, guilds that contribute greatly to them are given the right to use one of the three castles owned by them. Among the adventurers are some of those who wish to rise to the top of the platform and perform the god's rebirth themselves. What is the god's rebirth? Okay. Threats. Monsters are controlled by the shadow that lurk outside the root towns. Most monsters disappeared when the six great spirits and two goddesses were victorious over the shadow, but they began to increase in strength after the humans destroyed the gods. Wow, okay. That's, that's a lot. Let's go through jobs. During your initial character creation, you can select a job class from that character. They cannot be changed after. Twin blades have high agility and attack with two swords. Their rapid attacks leave no opening for an opponent to counterattack. Blade Brandir. Blade Brandir's fight with a sword similar to a katana. It is said that all warrior classes derive from this class. Although their abilities are average, they can adapt to a wide variety of situations. Edge Punisher. Edge Punishers are a job class that prefer to wield giant swords. A blow from one of these weapons have enormous power. It can slice most enemies in half with a single stroke. It's a pretty big sword. Okay, Lord Partisan. Lord Partisans wield a giant lance. No other class can match their piercing power. They have high defense power compared to the other classes, but are weak against magic. Tribal Grappler. Tribal Grapplers use their own fists as weapons. They have high agility similar to Twin Blades and possess high HP, however the low defense value makes it crucial to play attention in battle. Flick Reaper Flick Reapers wield a giant scythe. They specialize in attacks meant to keep multiple enemies away, however they are ineffective at long range. Steam Gunner Steam Gunners use the steam guns that were developed by humans. They specialize in long range attacks and are weak in close encounters but their powerful weapons will keep most enemies away. An Adept Rogue. Okay. Adept Rogues are eventually capable to equip various weapons and use all sorts of magic. However, each weapon must be learned separately, which requires a considerable time investment. Even so, this training will eventually pay off, making them highly adaptable in any situation. Harvest Cleric. Harvest clerics are experts in healing magic and are allied with the light spirits. They weld a staff in battle in the name of Ir, the goddess of tranquility. They can use some attack magic after they reach a certain level, but most concentrate on healing and support magic. Shadow Warlock Shadow Warlocks are experts in attack magic and are allied with the dark spirits. They, can al they always carry a book a spells known as a grimoire to heighten their magic power. Although they can use some healing magic, their repertoire is limited and not very effective. The Macabre Dancer These macabre, macabre dancers are experts at status and ability magic. Since they're allied with both light and dark, they're proficient in healing and attack. They hold large fans in both hands during battle. Their dancing form is said to enchant those who watch. Alright. We've got some job information. I hope. Oh, okay. Okay, so the job extension quest is a limited time event. Players who intend to participate are advised to confirm the duration. Okay, well, we've already done that. The maintenance in Lumina Cloth is now completed. 
Sincerely apologize to customers who have inconvenienced by an interruption. We hope you have a great time battling other players in the arena. Okay. Lumina cloth maintenance is done. That's a lot of stuff to have to read. That's the history, that's the races. That's quite a bit, isn't the threats? That's a bit. So instead of going so we went to the official location here and we read up on that. Let's back out of here. And let's see about an official form. Good work, everyone. I'm Atsuli, a member of Moon Tree's Unit 2. Our last seminar has closed its doors in this great success. Thanks to all who have participated and helped to make it great, I thank you all sincerely. Unit 2 is currently undergoing preparations for the next seminar. Therefore, we would like to gather opinions on how to go about making it another great success. If you have any suggestions for things you'd like to discuss or people you'd like to hear from, please whisper to either myself, Kunigawa, or Kunuki, Kashiwa or Dai Dai. Cool. You're turning me off? Wow. I've got Moon Tree. What is this gonna say? Did she already read it? Wait, technically she's not even supposed to be, like, able to. Anyways. Um, moon contract tree only. Okay, from Unit 3 leader recently, it seems there have been some players acting thoughtless towards others in Lumina Cloth, especially in the arena. Behavior that consists of tormenting or harassing other players is strictly against the guild's policy. If certain members appear in, involved in such incidents, the Southern Council will discuss those members right to participate in the arena. Currently, Moon Tree does not prohibit, or prohibit arena battles. However, participation is merely a right given the good behavior of members. Moon Tree does not officially endorse its members to participate in the arena. Please keep this in mind. And I thank you for not doing anything that may solely our guild's name. Okay. And Moon Tree Sakaki. This is Sakaki, Moon Tree's leader, or Unit 2 leader. It looks like the previous thread has disappeared, so I'll take the liberty of making a new one. Please use it to communicate reports, etc. Okay. start. This looks like a lot. Hello everyone, I'm Saltaholic. My guild Salt Mania is desperately seeking new members. Players must be 30 or older in real life, both in age as well and his her mentality. Currently, we have 12 members. Our ages range from 35 to 62, but all of us old guys and gals are having fun chatting and adventuring together. As most of us work day jobs or run our own business, our activity is mostly at night. We open, we're open to both veterans and newbies, so please feel free to talk to any of us. Thank you. And another member says, Hi there, I'm Kitty Laid. Kitty Ladle? 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 I'm just going to call her Kitty. I have a question about the evening playtime. Specifically, what times do you all usually play? My job doesn't finish until after midnight, so that's the only time I'm able to log in. Is that okay? Nice to meet you, Kitty. Our playtime is like so. Weekends, 10 to 2 a.m. Saturdays, 9 p.m. There's always someone here after 9. Holidays, 2 a.m. There are always be so There's always going to be someone here during the day. My job doesn't finish. Okay, so it's the same for me, so don't worry. And Rip, Van, Rip Van Winkle says to them, 
Do you have some sort of trial membership for this guild? I would like to experience the guild atmosphere and feel in first hand before officially joining. Is that okay? Sign me up for first chance you get. Thank you. Saltaholic says, We certainly do, Rip. How does a week sound to you? Kitty, please come to the Beginner's Guild in Makanu. Once you're there, whisper me, my name is Saltaholic and the game, and I'll be there to meet you. Kitty says, Okay, I'll whisper you sometime at midnight tomorrow. Looking forward to it. And Rip Van Winkle said, This will be great. Can I join as well? Salk says, Kitty, I'm looking forward to it myself. Glad to have you. And Rip, please come to do the same. Just whisper and I'll come get to you. Alright. That's pretty cool. Working people fall in. <laughs> Alright, we've got two more here. Okay, so Governor Tadashi says, I'm pleased to say that we have 12, or we have new recruits. Here are our 12 new members, our candidates. They have five, so all of these are just healers. Okay, that's a lot of names. I'm not going to read them. We're still happily accepting new members. Come on, or come one, come all, don't be shy. Come and show us the true color of fashion that resides deep in your heart. And so if I'm not mistaken, this was just a guild about medics. Okay. Whoa, that's a lot of... Alright, let's start this. Okay. I'm sure all of you must have many things you wish to know about the ever-so-mysterious Gabby. In this thread, you will all have a chance to have Gabby himself answer any questions you may have for him. Thank you for joining us, Gabby. Question 1 by Uriah. Thank you for allowing me to join Kestrel the other day. I have a question I would like to ask. Someday, I'd like to become a popular guild master and have a big castle for myself just like you. How should I go about running a big guild like Kestrel? Thank you so much for your help in advance. Gabby says, get lots of members. <laughs> Someone named Ho Ho Ki Kyo says, Hello, your character is really cool, Gabby. Your weapon is awesome too. I'd like to have a weapon like yours. Where do I need to go to get a weapon like that? Thanks for answering. Effort and guts. Okay. Beetlejuice says, It's pretty tough to get all the right equipment. I go to an area, get money. Monsters are tough. I use items. Then I have to buy more items. I run out of money. And I can't buy equipment. So, you see what's going on here, right? I'm stuck in this loop. I still have the equipment that I started with. What do you think is the best way to save money? Don't use it. <laughs> Thanks, Ken. Alright. Ginbu says, or asks, Um, I was PK'd by someone in your guild, and then they kept following me around to PK me again. Could you please tell them to stop? That too is part of the world. <laughs> okay, Gabby. Zipper says, You used to have an assistant guildmaster, right? Someone who kind of looked like the Curry Ranger? I haven't seen him around lately. Has he retired from the world? Gabby says, I don't remember anyone like that. Hmm. Alright. Marjorie says, My dream is to become a programming prodigy and get rich and live on the top floor of a really tall building. What is your dream for the future, Gabby? A girl's got to have her secrets, says Gabby. Zodiac Mark II says, Hello Gabby, today I have something I'd like to ask you. Why did you begin playing the world? For me, it was because a friend told me that I should try it. I'm grateful to him. I eagerly await your answer. Gabby says, I forgot. <laughs> Thanks Gabby. Alright, Suzuya says, I have a girl that I like in real life. Whenever I see her, my heart starts pounding and I get dizzy and I don't even know what I'm saying. I want to invite this girl to a movie, but whenever I try, my legs start shaking and I end up saying totally random things. What should I do? Please tell me, Gabby. Just say it. Oh, Gabby. Man, a few words here. Alright. 
Marjorie says, My name is Marjorie, and I asked you a question before, Gabby. Are you actually a woman? I just didn't expect it. Can you tell me the truth? Gabby says, I'm Gabby in real life, too. Okay. So, Gabby is a girl's name. Alright. Pig of the Sea says, Hey there, Gabby. Your level's pretty up there, isn't it? But I've never, ever seen you when you're on your throne and when you're talking to your guild members. Where and how do you level up like that? I wonder about it so much I can't sleep. And I'm going to blame me if my insomnia becomes serious. Gabby just says sleep. Perfect. Alright, so we heard Gabby's question and answer. We have some more, like, planet group. So, you know what? I think we can finish these. Not, not too many. Alright, so playing in a group. Actually, we'll skip these here. Okay, no more messages. What about... so that's news... community forum. We'll look into the community forum a little bit and then uh, we'll start on the next game. So the world. Where do I get Ohm Show? Looking for monster, hidden quest, bug. Oh, hello. I like those red ones. Okay. Alright. Anyone opening chests? How do I do it? Tuna King says, kick them open. Read the manual. Hironosuke says, is that a joke? That's wrong. No, it's not a joke. I just started playing the world two weeks ago. I know that you normally just kick them, but there are some that just don't open when you kick them. Hirohos Hironosuke says, huh? Details, please. I just punched in the some worlds in a random at random and wound up in a cave. At the back was a treasure. I kicked it, but nothing happened. There was no system message, and the treasure chest didn't change at all. Absolutely nothing happened. Tuna King says that was a bug. Hironosuke says maybe it's some kind of event. Was there anything else strange about the cave, like monsters or something? Nimon says it was a narrow dungeon with only one path. There were several monsters. There was one chest. Yeah, I like that reply. That was a word for that. Um, what else? Got ganked. Okay. Um, well, not the first one. Alright, Epitaph of Twilight. I heard a weird thing from a friend of mine. Is it really true that the world was created based on an epic poem of Epitaph of Twilight? Also, if this is true, what is that on the official page? Does anyone here know anything about this? Judica says, I believe this is true. CC Corp won't officially admit it though. There is Epithet of Twilight, right? Midnight Special says, I heard that the Epithet of Twilight was a fantasy style story about a search for a dragon, but the main background story for the world is just about a bunch of guys fighting each other. I don't think that can be right. Masaki says, the previous version, World 1, was most definitely based around the poem. Epitaph of Twilight is said that the words were written on the altar of Hul and Graz as proof of that. With regards to the World 2, the two event planners structured the game from scratch while incorporating the atmosphere of the 1 as much as possible. Excuse me, but could you tell me your source? Says Beatrice. And, uh... Tension probably is going to say, I made it the up. <laughs> They're not. They say, TC Corp's e -zine. So this is how I think it is. Fragment based on the Epitaph of Twilight. The World 1 based off Epitaph of Twilight. And the World 2, original, partly based upon the game. Beatrice says, that's e -zine. has insider information from the designers. I figured it was just mindless advertising. Very under underestimated them, but did you need to be a good gold member of CC Corp official fan club to be a receival of an invite? 
Tenjin says, exactly. You need to have $30 cash in your cyber wallet, so think carefully before you register. Wasn't there a guild that was collecting the epitaph of Twilight and Twilight Keys? I wonder if that guild is still active. I don't hear anything about them anymore. Apple Star says, this is starting to look more and more like a bad rumor board. That was Twilight Brigade. Now that you mention it, I haven't heard a thing about them recently. They used to be so active too. I wonder what happened. Maybe they broke up. Now, now Nu Ada says the guild itself is no longer around. It seems they just fell apart when their leader disappeared. But I heard their leader recently returned to the world. I guess the former members of the guild are starting to get active again too. Rice says I mistakenly used a rare serrated edge nickel coin I bought at an auction to buy a rice ball. Good evening. This is rice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wonder if the rumor board is going to get busy again. If it gets to be what it used to be like, I'll be posting there too. Bring on the Twilight Brigade. Sorry for the noob question, but what exactly is this epitaph of Twilight and Twilight Key business? Ace says, Well, please forgive my presumptu presumptuousness, but let me try to explain. At the epitaph of Twilight, this is an epic poem that was posted on an internet for free. Please say that the world of the people say that the world of the first game is based on it, but CC Corp denies it. The person who wrote the poem poem is dead now, and you can no longer see the website where it's originally posted. The poem itself has been scattered as well. Twilight Key is a legendary item that is said to grant the wishes of whoever is lucky enough to find it. Lots of players have been looking for it ever since the days of Fragment. Despite the fact that and an extremely large number of people are looking for it, there's no reports of anyone having seen it. Lately, most people have started to think that it might just be another urban legend since the information is vague. I hope the above explanation is useful. Now you'll excuse me, I will be going. Karagi says, leave it to me. The Twilight Brigade is a guild that is dedicated to finding something that doesn't exist. That sounds kind of romantic. Okay. All right, um, I thought I was going to the first, but this is the first. All right. Yeah, we won't read all these. It's going to be too much, but we can read what we have. All right, Nogmung says, loving new things is part of human nature, but so is loving old things. I want to go into their area again with the character that I put my spirit into making. I want to play with my dear companion. The images of a drenched CC Corp headquarters on the news, toasted servers standing there with despair. The diligent petitions were not answered as CC Corp announced the resignation of the first game. However, listen to this. Even so, the old warm-hearted me still wants to go back. I'm actually still warm-hearted. I hope the CC Corp guys, especially their executives, hear my cries and I hope they bring back our dear old world. Base says, I want them to bring back the first one too. It's not like I hate part two, it's just that I have memories of one. Who started that fire anyways? Renji says, was re one really that great? Is everyone exaggerating? Graphically, part two is way better. The game system is better too, I think. I still think part two wins hands down. I hope part two really takes off. Tinjin says, I admit it's true. The second game is better. But how do I put it? It doesn't matter. It's just not the same as part one. And we want part one back. Ptolemaea says, I started playing from part two, so I don't really understand what makes part one so great. So here's my question. If our part one was brought back or remade or whatever, what would you do? They say, I'll play them both. The reason is that I don't want to lose the characters I've built up in two, but I also want to play part one. Apple Star says, that's a tough question. I guess I'd like to play both, but I don't have that much money. I'm not clever enough to play both at the same time, so I guess I'd just wind up playing part two. Killer Whale says, basically I'll just keep playing two. Just like Apple Star said, I can't see myself playing both, but if our old character data is restored, I might just quit R2 or part two and play part one instead. Dang, when you miss the original and all the games come after are just like 
infested with like, uh, like the system of what do you call that again? Um, the like reward system where monthly you do something or you buy the monthly uh, thing. I forgot what it's called already. That's basically what happened to gaming. A lot of games want to make their money not through the game and selling a lot of them, but like DLCs that don't really give much to the game besides like a costume. Oh well. Oh, hello. Alright. Base. A frequent poster I've seen so far. It says. In the previous version, the top two were dominated by the same players. How do you think it'll be for the next version? Let's hear everyone's opinion. Midnight Special says if the basic rules don't change, it's going to wind up being those two again, I bet. So my vote goes to Gaspard and New Wang. Gaspard? Who said Gaspard? What? Anyways, those, they were strong for some reason. I don't know if it's just plain luck or great strategy. I agree with Midnight Special. I'll be coming down to a race with first with those two. By the way, can I ask this question? What does New Wang mean anyways? Someone said it meant Cow King. Does this mean King of Cows or Cow of Kings? It's the Chinese Guardian of Cattle, just like the New Wang flag. They give out of shrines. How is it that someone as brilliant and wise as I end up losing to them? I am ashamed to admit it, but they are true sages. Faye says, Oh, the guardian of cattle, huh? And that's... And what is New Wang flag anyways? And there's one more thing I'd like to ask. I can never tell when you're serious or not. Nogmonk says, It's like a charm. I guess a cow god is drawn on it? Something like that. I've never been more serious in my life, in fact. When I was a kid, people called me Mr. Serious. They'll bring back memories. Uh, that really brings back memories. Okay. Ace says, well, if you're going to be arrogant, let's answer back. The new wing flag is the protective charm given out of Kumano Shrine. There's actually three shrines that provide it. The Kumano Hongu Taisha, the Kumano Hayatama, Taisha and the Kumano Naichi Taisha. The flags usually are written in Kumano or Naichi script depending on which shrine with bird pictographs. In ancient times, it was used as a contract between samurai. Once broken, one of the birds severing, serving God at the Kumano shrine would die. No one who broke the promise would go to hell. I tried to summarize as much as I could, so I hope this helps. Faye says, I'm not sure if you're a funny person in real life, whatever. It's all about the character. And thanks for the lesson. I think I know a bit about the New Wang flag now, but I still don't see what it has to do with how a New Wang got his name. Is there anyone here who actually knows him? Gaspard. Oh snap, Gaspard. Gaspard says, New Wang told me in person. I wonder what the next version is going to be like. I'm starting to get all excited too. What? Are you really the real Gaspard? I can't believe it. It's such an honor to be able to respond to the legendary champion. You've met him in person? Vertical Cupid says, It's an honor to meet you. I'm Vertical Cupid. Gaspard, I'm a huge fan of yours. It's a pledge to meet you. You're so amazing. I'm not surprised you knew New Wing too. Good luck in the next version, and I'll be rooting for you. So this says, Gaspard, I'm surprised that you think of me so highly. Legendary, did I do something special? I only met him once. We usually chat online. And to Vertical Cupid, thanks for rooting for me. I'm blushing to think that I actually have a fan. <laughs> Heck yeah. Gaspar, this one's for you. Alright. Community forum. Opening soon. Bartels. We'll read this one. 
Okay. We have... More info from the rumor board. Oh. Did I read this the wrong way? Yeah, this way. Alright. More info from the rumor board. Let me take let me make an additional comment. It seems that Chrisman Versus is about to reopen soon. Apparently both the server and the software upgrade are going well, of course. There are still just rumors. Midnight Special says, oh, that info is from Nauda, but even if the server and version upgrades are going well, if they don't take care of virus protection, Fukujin says, that's for sure. And what kind of virus was it anyways? Just some black spots appearing on the screen, so there wasn't any obvious damage then, right? Ptolemaeus says, just being infected with the virus is damage enough if you ask me. Did anyone discover anything when they analyzed it? It'd be cool if they could find out who made it or executed it. Nauda says, Rumors say that these black spots that appeared were the same ones that showed up in the title matches in the previous version of the world. It's only a rumor though. Judica says, didn't they say that was just a bug? That was an official announcement, but who knows the truth? Okay. Oh, hello. Alright, for several decades, people have been saying that books will be gone, yet they still exist. Because, I don't think electronic books would be popular in the market. Books are fun because you can basically physically turn the pages, and you don't need batteries and such to read them. I wonder why these people in the past couldn't understand such an easy thing. LOL. I can read words, says Rice, printed on a paper for a reasonably long time. But for some reason, I can't concentrate on words on a monitor. I remember when they said the electronic books weren't popular because of low resolution monitors, so instead they came out with high resolution reading devices. I did buy one of these readers, but in the end it didn't work. There's just something different about it. I don't know what it is, it's just odd. The cocky leader says, so you don't know why, huh? It's simple. Monitors light up, books can't. Understand now? Rice says, don't call me but rice. It's just rice. Om rice. Oh, okay. But anyway, leader, as you so arrogantly put it, I don't understand. Not one bit. Did you get tired of that? I can only read your name as butt rice. Why is butt rice? Oh, maybe because it looks like a butt, I guess. You're dumber than I thought. Kaki says, it's something that it is lit up. It makes you squint. This makes it hard for you to look at the letters for a long time and therefore unable to concentrate. Rice says, I feel disgusted because you make it sound so convincing. Well, is it true? Kaki says, I don't know. It's just a theory. Rice says, somehow I feel like it's just a lost argument. Beatrice says, you two seem to get a well long. Uh, long well. As Rice said, it looks, it sounds like a reasonable explanation, but I wonder if it's really true. Rice says, that's not true, not even close, not by a long shot. Kaki says, I have to agree with them. I mean, butt rice. Rice says, I told you not to call me butt rice. Kaki says, I'm telling you, I can only read your name as butt rice. Beatrice says, I think you guys are friends after all. Okay, <sighs> let's do a couple more. I've been playing Riot Gun, but I think I'm, but I got sick of it recently. Is there a network game that you recommend? I don't care if it's an MO or MMO, the world doesn't have to be like Riot. It even is okay if it's not first person shooter. Fantasy, sci-fi, I don't care. And Tinora says, okay, well let me invite you right away. Have you checked out Forbidden yet? The world is close to Riot Gun, so I think you'll get used to it quickly. I think they're running a campaign for beginners right now. How about it? 
Bongio says, my personal recommendations are the negotiator or as you like. The negotiator is like a store management MMO. You can do all sorts of things in there. Like go into a dungeon, collect items to sell. There's other adventure uh, adventures as well. And eventually sell to, you can sell uh, items for profit. Other players stores, the art is now rare. 2D dot matrix, retro feel to it. As you like, it's a miniature garden type MO. Players start as an uninhabit on an uninhabited island, try to build civilization from scratch. Some islands can e evolve into a complete jungle. Some may turn out to become a seed from a sci-fi novel. This one is in 3D yet has a tender touch with cute characters. It's very different than Riot Gun, but both are pretty interesting. Faye says, thanks for the info. They both sound like simulation games, by the way. I'm one that gets frustrated playing Outlaws on Marsh Online, but do you think an idiot like me can have fun with these games? They say, the world is like sci-fi treasure island. You buy your Star Cruiser, travel to other planets in search of treasure. It's pretty fun. Attacking, defending yourself from space pirates, other players, that kind of stuff. Kaina says, so you don't like Outlaws of the Marsh, huh? If you could have made steady progress, it may have been fun for you. But if you're not good at that type of game, maybe an action or a command type game would be good. Double March might be a good choice. It's a military action game, but it's not first person shooter. What do you think? Faye says, whoa, that sounds pretty cool, but it worries me that I'm still in, it's still in beta test and sounds like a lot of bugs. And Double March. I played that one before I started Riot Gun. I was really obsessed with it for a while, but then I got sick of it and started Riot. I think I'm going to stay away from military games for a while. Thanks for the suggestion, though. Syllabus. Syllabus says, hey, Faye, it's nice to meet you. I would have to recommend the world. It's a Steam-based fantasy command type MMO. And as you know, it's the most popular game in the world. It also has some action elements. It's fun because it has a lot of different occupations in a really deep world. It also has been around for a long time, so the tech support is reliable. If you're feeling tired of military stuff, it's the perfect time to try this. I really recommend you to try the world. Banyo says, well, in the negotiator, your opponent is human, not AI, so that might be tough. Your shop could be shut down before you even know it. I really recommend as you like. You can literally play at your own pace. It's perfect for people that don't have too much time to devote to something. There's no real winning or losing, so in that sense you can play the game any way you'd like. And Anti Nora says, well you might be right about the bugs, but they started to weed them out. You don't have to worry too much about them now. And as for tech support. It was my imagination, but did Tabloid show the reports of server problems and company instances uh, for the game? I've actually played this game before. I quit because the support you mentioned was terrible. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh wait, I could have replied to them in there. I think that top one here. Yeah. Okay, here too. Alright. Alright. Wanna buy M2D? A new model has been announced. Is everyone going to buy it? I've got a simple question. When did CC Corp get into the home electronics business? Tinjin says, I'm suspicious of this opening price thing. I bet it'll be expensive. Base says, that's what I heard. I admit it'll be worth buying, but if you don't have the money, just don't do it. Goren says, if you want money, you have to work to earn it. By the way, I don't always put $5 into savings each week. 
there's usually a jinx against companies that suddenly jump into new ventures. I don't want them to go bankrupt because that means I wouldn't be able to play the world. I hope CC Corp earns a bundle. Mighton says, 420. I hope that includes tax. Man, a little more than 400 bucks? That's too much. In too deep, that sounds like expensive. Ptolemaia says, It's just a state of mind. Concentrate. If you feel like it's expensive, it's expensive. If you feel like it's cheap, it's cheap, right? Relax your mind. Om. Um, Om. Um. No matter how I look at it, it's expensive. Okay, Syllabus says, Huh? No one's gonna buy it. I'm definitely gonna buy it. I think that's all the ones in this location. I think we saw all of these too, right? Yeah. Oh wait, was there more in here? Oh, there was. Oh, wow. Whoa. I could have been looking at all these the entire time. Let's check it out. Machi says... How are you? I'm Machi. An extreme noob who only just logged on for the first time the other day, but I'm already completely taken with the world. Recently, I tried making a party for the first time, and it was so much fun I found myself drawing even without realizing it. I think I remember reading this one, if I'm not mistaken. Right? Okay, I think these are all like uh, pictures. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, all drawings. Okay, the rumors. See what else we have with red exclamations. None of them. Okay. Um. Tell you what, we'll read into more of them another time. As for now, I think it's enough uh, that we just read all those right now. Um, I'm gonna save it, and then we'll go into the next one. Time to go to the next game. It's gonna be interesting. Okay, first I gotta... I can't just back up. Oh, there we go. Okay. I hope everything goes well. I hope I can go back to one and read this stuff again. This is the first time I've played part two, so I know nothing going from now. Convert volume. Convert clear data from one, start playing part two. Yes. Cheat mode. No, I'm alright. I'm gonna legit play the game. I was like, cheat mode? What's that? Once you begin part two, you'll be unable to continue with unfinished quests unfinished quests from volume one. Are you sure you want to load the data? Yeah, I think I finished all the quests I needed to. It was just reading stuff. Oh yeah, if anything, it's just the stuff that's like, oh, you have to... Oh, cool. If it was things needed to be done, it was just like, see the, you know, give all these people flyers and stuff like that. They're more side quests, side side quests instead of side quests. All right, I'm gonna let this play.
The online game, The World, Revision 2. It has now become a place where players prey on other players. A lawless land filled with an overabundance of PKers. And the PKKer, feared by all PKers, was Haseo, the terror of death. Haseo searched and at long last found his hated enemy, Triage, but discovered he was no match for him. He was then reduced to level one by Triage's data drain. In his search for a power that could defeat Triage, Haseo learned of the anomaly known as Ida and the epitaph users that could resist them. and that lured him towards their power, the Avatars. Bordeaux, a PKer with a grudge against Haseo. Matsu, the seventh unit leader of the Moon Tree Guild. Alcaid, the former emperor who fights to regain her throne. Through battling these three, Haseo grew both as an epitaph user and as a person. Upon defeating Endrance, the beautiful emperor of the Demon Palace, Haseo learned that he had been using Ida to fill a hole in his heart from something lost in his past. On the day Haseo was crowned the new emperor, the young girl of Moontree, Adelie, disappeared. In his search for her, Haseo came upon outer space and at last encountered Triage. In his second battle with Triage, Haseo came out victorious. Triage was broken up into data fragments and was lost. But just when everyone had let down their guards, a vast number of Ida tentacles suddenly appeared. And pierced Atelier's body. to get up. I'll get yelled at again if I don't. Adelie! Adelie! If... If I could only be more like Haseo... I... Hey! Adelie! Adelie! Huh? Where am I? In an at-home. Ours. An at-home? I... Natalie, calm down. And then... And then... Natalie! Get away from there!
Ellie, are you okay? Come on, speak to me! Damn it! Not this again! This isn't happening! Oh, I'll stay out. Just leave everything to me! Come on! Don't worry, you'll be safe now. So how do you feel, Adelie? Are you hurt anywhere? I'm okay, I think. Huh? Uh... Uh... What? My voice! You know, we haven't heard Adelie say anything for a while now. Maybe her mic is broken. At times like these, it's best to just log out and reboot. Okay, I'll just log out now. This is Ravens. No! That's not what I mean! This is... an online game, right? Well, yeah. They're not here! My controller! My desk! My M2D! Where... where am I? What's happening? What's going on? What's going on? Don't worry about your character. Just remove your M2D and... <gasps> Wait. Wait a second. I don't understand. Where are we right now? Huh? We're right... What the hell? Haseo, what about you? Where are you right now? Wait, am I seeing the world directly? I... But where did my real self go? Wait, we've got to log out! Everyone log out! Damn, I can't! What the hell is going on here? Is this a really bad dream or something? Calm down. Currently, it appears that all the players in the world cannot log out from the game's master server. Wait a minute, all the players? Yes. Under the circumstances, it is most likely that the Ida phenomenon is to blame for this. Wait a sec! Never mind logging out. What I want to know is, are we all really inside the game? But that's impossible! Even for Ida! Your senses should be informing you that you have now ventured into the game's wondrous world. If you say that this truth is only an imaginary one, then I ask you, where is the real world? As long as they cannot be refuted, there is no end to the possibilities in this world. Perhaps it's also Ida's influence that's keeping us from hearing Adelie's voice. Uh, what is this Ida anyway? Some kind of bug? Anyway, we've got to figure out the situation.
Putting aside our inability to log out, it looks as though the game itself is functioning normally. We can use Chaos Gates, platforms, and save shops as we did before this began. We can preserve our data at save shops as usual, but we cannot check email or forums from outside of the game. We still lack information. I'd like all of you to help investigate the situation. Pi, search the areas. Kuhn, go and search Lumina Cloth. Understood. Got it. Haseo, search Makanu. Fine with me. Uh, um... You're tired. You should rest here for a little while. I need to ask around Makanu. I should start by asking as many players as possible. Okay, so this is part two. As you can see, it looks pretty much the same. I don't know if they actually did any graphical advancements. Um, but let's see. It's, well, same. Some equipment types deal more or less damage. Yeah, I already know that. Dang. this area okay um i assume it just means walk around and talk to people that stand out we'll see Wow, okay. I thought it would have set me back to one or something. I wonder what kind of differences are is there from the first game to the second game. stuck in the world. They all have headsets on, so like a metaverse kind of thing. But I don't know if it like hooks into your brain or something, like why are they saying they can't log out? Like just take the headset off. Unless it's like something that like sucks you in or something, like you can't move.
shortcut. Gaspard. Gaspard the legend. Oh, nice. So they updated stuff. One of which is this one, I think, right? This one. Okay. Let's keep going. I'm glad that it kept some of the stuff. Um, maybe even the shops here, so let's check on this guy. Oh, I can't even get into the side guys. That's fine. Let's go to the dome, check up there, and see what we gotta do next. Like there's a disturbance in the sin or in the central plaza or whatever you want to call it. Let's check it out. We're gonna get their lickety split with our steam pipe. Is this some kind of event or someone's bad joke? Can you tell me what's happening? You're some kind of admin guy, right? Please, calm down! We are working hard to... How do you expect us to calm down? What are you gonna do about this? I'm terribly sorry. Please, just try to be patient for a while. So, that guy in the blue suit is an admin. It looks like even CC Corp doesn't have a very good handle on the situation. Yada's calling me. Let's head back to Raven's Serpent of Lore. Will ya? Damn it! Damn it! Where am I? What is this place? Why am I actually inside the game? So it seems that humans who lack morals both online and offline say the very same things after all. <laughs> well, it seems that you only act strong when facing those weaker than you. Pitiful. If you're that scared, run back to Kestrel, with your tail between your legs. <laughs> As reported, 
It looks like those from Kestrel are stirring more panic in the people. Everyone, go support the town's order. We must not let them panic. Understood. Adelie. I was so worried about you. Are you okay? I'm sorry, Sakaki. What's wrong? I can't seem to hear you. You see... Ever since you were killed by a bugged monster, you've been unable to speak? Yes. I know it's kind of hard to believe. Oh no, I believe it. You're not one to tell a lie. Sakaki. I'm sure you know this, but all players are currently unable to log out from the game. In fact, they have lost sight of their very selves. It's almost as if their minds have been absorbed into the heart of the world itself. That's right, a game. But at the same time, it's also a reality all its own, Adelie. At any rate, we must stop the players from panicking. You will help us, won't you? Yes! Good girl. Well then. So Mr. Sakaki's the only one you can rely on after all, huh? <laughs> So it's you, Terror of Death. It appears there are only enemies to be found in your world. Adelie, why are you here? I thought I told you to stay at the at-home. I'm sorry. I thought I should contact Sakaki and... Listen to me. This isn't something Moon Tree can do anything about. I see. Are you saying that you can solve this situation? With a lot more certainty than you can. <laughs> What's so funny? Conceit. Don't you agree that it is the lust for power that is most certain to make fools out of people? Terror of death. What do you mean by that? I mean exactly what I said. Adelie. Yes! I will see you later. isn't a problem that Moon Tree can solve. But even so... I don't understand. I just don't understand you, Haseo! Yeah, I don't understand that either. Um... Go back in, I guess. I assume it's this one. Yeah. I see. The situation is much more serious than we thought. Let us summarize for a moment. Ever since the Ida phenomenon occurred while searching for Atalie, no one has been able to log out of the game.
Furthermore, none of the players have been able to return to their real-world selves and their real lives. And no new players have been able to log into the game. Communications with the outside receive no reply. Some of the players have panicked to the point where they're starting to get violent. It seems that the system admins can't contain these players any longer. Yes. The system admins themselves are just as confused. Right now, their real selves are... At this point, we're no different than the Lost Ones. It is quite obvious that the reason for this abnormality is Ida. If we ever want to return to the real world again, it is imperative that we investigate Ida as quickly as possible. And one more thing. Let me tell you something important. Something important? Now that her epitaph has been stolen, Adelie's PC data is starting to degenerate. <gasps> degenerate? What is he talking about? I'm sorry. But why didn't you tell us? That's enough. Isn't it obvious? She didn't want us to worry about her. <laughs> Yada, in this world our minds aren't residing in our bodies, but in our player characters, right? That is merely speculation. But in this case, it would seem to be the most likely explanation for what we are experiencing. So this is a world where our minds and characters are linked together. So, what will happen if Adelie's character data is lost while she's in this world? There is a distinct possibility that her own consciousness will be lost as well. <gasps> what? You've got to be kidding me! What should we do? How can we cure her of this? Is your head just for decoration? You should try thinking before you make a big fuss. <laughs> Master Yada, do we know anything else? This too is only a guess. But it seems that this place is not really the world as we thought. It is a false world that Ida has created by copying the data off of CC Corp's servers. I believe that the world we are currently inside of is such a place. So then, this is some kind of a mirror server. That's one way to put it. Adelie, at one time you had the power to distinguish Ida's sound from all others. Ida's sound? Come to think of it, didn't you say something like that when we found Indy Glut Lou? Well, if you mean hearing strange sounds and seeing bug-like things, I've had that happen a number of times. Have you heard that sound after being placed in your present condition? No, I haven't. I thought so. It all makes sense. It would seem that the data Ida stole from her is... You don't mean the young girl's Morgana Factor? Morgana Factor? What's that? Master Yada! It's all right to tell him all about it now. The Morgana Factor is the specialized data that makes Epitaph users unique. Epitaph users are special characters created by CC Corp for use during certain projects. Thus, Epitaph user PCs have data inside them that is not found inside regular PCs. That's the Morgana Factor, usually called Epitaphs. So the reason that we can use avatars is because we have that Morgana factor? I, I mean epitaphs? That's right. 
Hence, epitaph users. CC Corp wants to mass produce epitaph users. You mean as a defense against Ida? Yes, but thanks to strong protection protocols, we've been unable to adequately analyze them. We still don't know exactly what the Morgana factor is. Thanks to that, not only can't we mass produce, we can't even make a copy of it. So why not just bring the creator in on it? He should be able to take care of that without a problem. As far as we know, the Morgana Factor was not created by any one person. Well then, how did you get a hold of him in the first place? We managed to salvage it from the dark abyss of this world. The abyss of this world? Each of the Morgana Factors has its own name and identity. In my case, the name of my avatar is Tarvos, the epitaph of the Avenger. My avatar's name is Magus, the epitaph of the Propagation. As for Aseo, his avatar goes by the name of Skaith. He is the epitaph of the Terror of Death. The Terror of Death. It's an odd coincidence that it's the same as your PKK nickname. Even with Magus's The Propagation, we can't repair the Morgana Factor. Thus, now that she has lost her Epitaph user abilities, Adelie can no longer hear Ida's sound. Maybe that's also part of the reason why Adelie lost her voice. Yada, what can we do to help her? There are no alternatives but to try to recover her Morgana Factor from Ida. However... What? It will be difficult to trace Ida precisely, now that we are no longer on the actual CC Corp server. Fortunately for us, this Ida server is far from being perfect. This world contains seams in the structure. The fact that we can save our data is proof of that. That means... Yes. All we have to do is find them. It seems to me that at this point, our only acceptable option is to infiltrate the Ida areas and conduct a thorough search. Infiltrate? You mean with just us? There's no way we could possibly cover all the Ida areas between just the few of us. This is an emergency. We will reach out and ask other players for help. That's pretty impressive, coming from someone as secretive as you. Paseo, I believe you had a relationship with those at Moon Tree. You should go and ask them for help. Moon Tree? Do you think there's a chance that they would really listen to me? Moon Tree would never abandon someone in trouble. That's what Sataki always said. That Moon Tree is there to help save people. <laughs> I will go and contact Zelkova myself. Hi. I want you to go with Haseo, and help with his negotiations. Yes, Master Yada. Uh, what about me? Adelie, you will stay here. Huh? But... If news of that arm were to spread beyond this group, it would only make things worse. Okay. Off to Moon Tree Headquarters. Don't forget, the area words are Delta Setting Eternity's Night Moon. I'll be back. Okay. I'll be waiting at the Chaos Gate. I really do wonder what kind of changes they did from the first game to the second, because... I mean... It looks literally the same to me. I mean, it doesn't look horrible. It looks okay. You know? Shut up! Especially for being early 2000s game, doesn't look bad at all.
to Moon Tree's guild. I mean, Moon Tree is a guild, but their headquarters. I'm sure you realize this, but we didn't come here to fight. Yeah, yeah. I'll handle the negotiations, so just act appropriately and try to get on their good side. Besides, it seems that for whatever reason, Zelkova has taken a liking to you. What can I say? Hello, Grunty. Little grunty. I bid you welcome. Paseo, welcome! Have you had the chance to read the email from our guildmaster? His name is Master Yada. Yep, we sure did. Every word. Good. Then I would like to discuss the investigation of this system abnormality. You're beating around the bush. Why not try telling us directly what it is you want? I don't know what you mean. Hmm. Perhaps this will clarify things. I'm saying that perhaps you should consider bowing down and gracefully begging us to help you with your desire to escape from the Ida server. Members of GU, You Raven, that is GU members, are conducting an investigation of Ida, are you not? <gasps> Some secret. <laughs> Mr. Sakaki, I... I'm quite surprised by... I was... I was not aware that anything like that was going on. I'm sorry. I felt I should keep it to myself until I was able to confirm it, as it was uncertain information. However, it would appear that it was not far off the mark. <laughs> now, now, this is no time to be fighting each other. Although our positions may be quite different, our intentions are the same. Am I wrong? There is no falsehood in my devotion to Moon Tree. All right, let's cooperate with Haseo and his friends. After all, we do have to escape from here eventually. Good. Then we shall follow your directions. Naturally, we have no intention of making GU public, rest assured. Thank you. So, what exactly is it that you would like us to do? Currently, the place in which we are all trapped is not within a CC Corp server. You must try to think of it as if someone sent us all to a mirror server and then isolated it. <clears throat> so then, that would be the Ida server. I mean, you can partition a hard drive Our to have different. Our objective is to find the many seams which exist inside systems, this Ida server, which would have different characters. Seams. I would assume. Yes, we would like you to help us find phenomena that would normally be impossible to find in the world. A data irregularity. In other words, you'd like us to find a bug. That's right. Very well. We'll take our units, split up, and search the different areas. All right. 
I've got to do my best for Master Sakaki! Don't go out of your way just to get Master Sakaki's attention! Do you people get that?! Whoa, whoa! Getting a little scary there, pansies. Well, Sakaki has decided to cooperate with you. No need to worry about a thing. I'll help you out. I may as well do some work myself. Everyone, don't forget to report in regularly, all right? Now, let's be off. Very well, if you'll excuse us. All right, see you later, Haseo. Bye! <sighs> Okay. But how... how does he know about... about Ida and G.U.? Hey, at least we didn't have to spend a lot of time explaining. Honestly, do you realize the significance of this? Orders from Master Yada. Although it's not certain, an area with faint Ida signals has been found. We'll meet up with Kuhn and conduct a thorough investigation of Delta Galloping Subtle Desert. I wonder if it would have allowed me to, like, automatically be um, level like 45 or 50 if I had just started a new save for this second one and didn't like transfer the save. Yeah. Let's save this real quick. Speaking of, oh, save data on just this one. Okay. 41 minutes into this one. Um, okay, what was I doing again? Oh, I gotta take them to the set there. If you're going, invite me too. Oh, I thought he was already in. I've included more cuts. <laughs> They're here. Huh? Who are you? We're searching for the criminals who have been spreading viruses all over this world. If we PK everyone, we should be able to find the culprit sooner or later, right? And once we do, we can finally return to our own world and be done with this place. <laughs> Tough break, guys. Are you serious? So you're PKing because you couldn't handle the anxiety? What was that? That's it. No mistake here. These guys are definitely the culprits. Get them! Here goes. Thunder Sword dance! Quite your I didn't even break a sweat. Those guys just now were PKers from Kestrel, right? Yeah, this is bad. It seems like everyone's starting to panic and go crazy in the different areas. Then we better hurry and find a solution before things get much worse. Come on, Haseo. 
Let's go. I mean, the, the layout of each of those places looks a little bit different. Are you nuts? This area is full of PKers. Perhaps there's a connection between them and the Ida signals. We'd better be careful. Here's our chance! <gasps> So I'll take them all on. Click your bullet! <laughs> I think it actually looks a bit different, this is a piece of cake. which is cool. Looks a bit smoother, doesn't look as jagged. I didn't change the settings for both of the games, so it looks exactly how it's supposed to. I'll crush you! Or let me put it this way, I maxed out the settings because this is such an old game that even my computer that is not the greatest. Like, it's good enough to play AAA games, but to stream it is a different thing. Like, it can have problems, especially trying to put it on a big monitor or for bigger uh, people to, to watch streams on bigger devices and stuff. Um, so I just keep it at 1080, 1920, I think. Yeah. Um, eventually. You're mine. Eventually, I've got a better computer to stream it. Quick draw, bullet. Quality. Hey. Quick draw, bullet. Sword dance. Okay, let's get some more chins because I'm assuming I'm going to have to get them again. This is 35... Poison Wings, yeah. Oh, maybe... Yeah, why, why would I use... Spin Needle? Maybe it's just because it's quicker. Don't be careless. No, 
Thunder Spark! I got it! Looks like we're gonna have some kind of fight right here, I assume. Yep. Ida! Asail, let's take it out! I got it. Alright. Come on. Come on! I'm right here! Sky! This stuff again. Alright. When it comes time to smash buttons or something, I'll I'll mute it. But I don't think it's gonna happen right now. takes care of the Ida signals in this area. Hmm? A short mail. It's Nala from Moontree.
You're open! Fight through a bullet! Just trying to take out the rest of the enemies, and looks like I just gotta finish this little walkthrough. More than likely, it's not gonna be simple though. There's one, two enemies. Maybe I can get both of them at the same time to get me. Oh. Don't be careless. That's all right. Sweat. Teamwork, make her the dream work. You're not getting away. This is a piece of cake. I wish I can switch weapons mid battle. It would allow me to like do quick attacks and then like switch over to Your meaty attacks whenever it's like boss time or something. <laughs> Send me to the front. Let's check behind here. Sometimes games put stuff behind things and they're like, oh, if people decided to check out all of what we do, sometimes they'll find things. I learned that at an early age playing Pokemon. Sometimes there'd be like Pokeballs. Never with Pokemon. Ah, yes, yes. With What's items. Perfect timing. What's this about? I'm afraid I have no idea. I just arrived here myself, but you can hear voices coming from inside. I think we should go find out who's inside the temple. You know what I should have did? Rested at that little platform before I went in. Oh well. Gabi? But why would Kestrel's guildmaster be... Ovan? Oh, it's you! Ovan, why are you here? Hmm, I wonder. 
I didn't ask you. I suppose you could say I was just talking with an old friend. Ovan and I once pledged eternal brotherhood to each other. Like I care. Answer me, Ovan. What are you doing here? The same thing you are. What? I'm searching for a way to escape from the Ida server. After all, I don't plan on being here forever. Is that not your ultimate objective as well? As members of GU? But how? I want to know how you know about GU. Who told you? What is it that you want? Please, calm down, Master Haseo. I assure you that our objective, and his, is to investigate the Ida server and to use that information to escape. In other words, we are all... Hi! Uh. Is that true? Did Yada really know about all this? That's... Tell us the truth, Pi. Did that ass really know about the existence of the Operation Folder and not tell us? We... We didn't have any proof. That's why... Master Yada... Proof? Can we afford to take time to look for something like that? But we don't know the dangers. Is there any place in this entire world without danger? Don't stop me, Coon! Stop it! There'll be no hope for Adelie if we fight each other here. <sighs> Nevertheless, I agree with you, Haseo. Coon... We're going back to the Serpent of Lore to confirm this with Yada. We'll talk after that. Hmm. 
Ovan. So, you know Yada too? Yes, he's an old friend. Give him my best regards. We will meet again, Hussail. This is ridiculous. Everyone's always hiding something from me. I'll continue with the investigation, then. Please do. All right, let's go. Okay, I guess that was it. I thought I was gonna have to fight someone there. Alright, <clears throat> I think what we'll do now is just save. We'll call it a day. Um, we spent about an hour in game, so that's in this game, but also we spent an hour outside of the game in the first one just deciding you know to read up on a lot of lore in the community uh, we learned that both syllabus and gaspard are part of the community we don't really see puros or atali uh, in the community on the game which is interesting lore wise it just shows who's interested in community who's interested in just the game or who's interested in just like fighting which the fighting would be obviously uh, Haseo. Community would be uh, Syllabus, Gaspard, uh, not really Pyrrhus, and um, Atoli is, I would say, more interested in the game itself to be like lost in it, you know. Same thing for Pyrrhus. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today. Um, I want to give a shout out again to Nuclear. Thanks for stopping by. I really enjoy that. Like you said, glad to know someone's watching. And the same goes back to you. I, I'm glad that people watch live or recorded. Um, I love when it's live though. Because I get to have times like this where I can speak with someone. Um, and I'm totally ready for whatever you're going to put out next. I'll watch. So yeah. Thank you, thank you all for stopping by, saying hello, uh, giving me a listen. I will be back tomorrow playing more uh, Warhammer Vermintide 2. Um, yeah, and, and just a brief overview, I missed uh, a day simply because, um, you know, I messed up my, my bitrate for streaming and so I fixed it now, but it was trying to do 10 times as much as I wanted it to, so it, that's the problem. But I fixed that. Everything's back to normal. So I'll be back tomorrow. Thanks again for stopping by. And you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe.